<laughs> I love it. Pasta Grannies has joined Frankie Seeds at the Hampton Court Flower Show. We are entertaining gardeners with an easy pasta dish. And our next session is about to start. Bonjour, hello, and uh, my name's Paola. And my name's Vicky Benison, and I have a little YouTube channel called Pasta Grannies. Tell, tell them what you do. Well, it's about pasta and it's about grannies. I think we all know that grannies make the best cooks. Italian nonnas. Particularly Italian nonnas. And here we are, I'm making a particular pasta called Chialatieri. And that is the most difficult thing about it. Okay. And whilst I'm making it, Paolo is actually going to be doing a wonderful uh, vegetable sauce. It's typical of Amalfi. We're actually in Campania this afternoon. Okay. And it's going to be aubergines and tomatoes and I'll talk to you a little bit about the varieties as well. This is called a cuor di bue and if you cut this tomato in half it's pure meat, no pockets of water or seed in there and it's very low acidity and it's the um, it's, it's a very sweet tomato and, and this is the actual variety here it's called cuor di bue or the French would call it cuor du bue. So um, here I'm actually using two different types of flour um, because that's what they do in Italy. They've got a zero zero flour and the other flour I'm using is a similar flour. The other ingredients that go into it are um, parmigiano. This is a cheesy noodle, basil. You could use parsley if you wanted to. It depends on what you're serving with this pasta. So the other thing we're going to use in here is milk. That's slightly unusual. Paolo, what are you up to? Right, so what I'm doing I'm, uh, I'm chopping an onion and some, some garlic. So what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be doing the thing that takes the longest, and that's the aubergine. And we're just going to get a bit of colour on those uh, yeah. straight away. And you have to keep going. At this moment, you think, uh, oh my god, it's all going wrong. Mm -hmm. <sighs> what shall I do? But actually, all you have to do is just keep on kneading, and eventually, it all comes together. Well, now at a stage where this is feeling slightly sort of silky to touch and um, that's about ready. Flatten it out, cover it in cling film, and with, uh, and since we don't have half an hour to wait, um, I made some earlier, like in blue pizza. What I'm doing is using this. You do not have to go out and buy this. This is a Mattarello. Um, it's a copy of one that I came across with one of my Mr. Grannies. And she is brilliant at making pasta. She can make sheets of the spoilia of pasta this big. And when people are very, very good, their roly pins get bigger and bigger. I mean, they're sometimes taller than the ladies themselves. It's, it's kind of handling like old linen. And that's all you need. So you can see we're kind of... It's not elegant like your tagging the telly. You've got kind of nice, short, stubby little noodles. And uh, Chialatelli actually means um, ruffled, as in my hair, as in untidy hair. It's quite rustic as well, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's untidy like, and yeah. kind of, you don't have to be very precise about it. But not in this case, we, we, we winged it here. So we're adding tons of uh, grated parmesan. So if you um, make your own, uh, if you grow your own vegetables using Frankie seeds, because they are the best, that's how we bonded was over uh, the provenance and how good his seeds are. Um, then um, have fun and make your own pasta too. I mean, it's it's the best way, it's the best tribute to all your hard work. Um, oh, that's it. Yes, Thank so you what very much indeed. Thank you. Yeah. Um, so more inspiration, go to pastagrannies.com and also to seedsofitaly.com. Yeah. You're not having any. It's all mine. Click on the subscribe button. <laughs>